Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where or when you're watching this. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene, and it's Monday. We survived the weekend. Hooray for us. And uh, special note to my buddy Eric over at uh, Better Every Shaves. No more hippie. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, anyway, hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, I know I did. Uh, spent uh, yesterday with my son over at his house. We celebrated a late Father's Day because being a firefighter, he had to work that on Father's Day. So I brought him his uh, Father's Day present, which was uh, Noble Otter Firefighter, a complete set. So, and he, I know he's going to use that and uh, he really liked it. Anyway, uh, today, 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 today. Uh, let's go back in time a little bit, shall we? Uh, collaboration that came out recently between the Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook Shave Dad group and um, Alasian and uh, Wet Shaving Store. Old Timer. Old Timer. Traditional Wet Shaving. This is the... The pour, minus what I've made a lather with. Nice pour. A little, little stiff, but that's okay. It lathered up real nicely in my Deacon Shave bowl. And they say it's supposed to be an homage to Aqua Velva. Well, I happen to have some Aqua Velva here. We'll compare, maybe. I do have the matching old timer splash. Let's see what we get. It was really interesting trying to find the actual scent notes for this bad boy, but I was able to find it. Top notes of bergamot, was supposed to be bergamot, lavender, peppermint, pedigree, lemon, middle of clary, sage, jasmine, vetiver, and sandal, and cedarwood. Base notes, labdanum, musk, amber, moss, and leather. Well, let's see what we get. Definitely get some leather. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of peppermint, some lavender. Of course, my nose is not exactly professionally trained. Maybe a little bit of that bergamot. So, it's a nice lather. Using my, since we're going back in, old, in time, I'm using my Ever Ready, which was re knotted by uh, Jarrett at Old Central Shaving over on Instagram. And let's go back in time a little bit further, shall we? I'm going to use Old Reliable, the 61 Fat Boy. I've got a Gillette Winter Blade in here, third use. Already taken care of two of the three S's. Take the glasses off. Got my ice pack in the water to get it nice and cold because it's going to be 102 today. They're saying maybe. And a little extra water on the face. Let's hydrate. Pro tip always hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I said I take care of two or three S's already, haven't I? Yeah. Let's get some some lather on here. It's a nice feeling lather. Lathered up pretty good in the bowl. And this is a a natural bristle brush. Figured I'd use the natural version of this that I have. Because back in the day, I don't think they had synthetics. Interesting note about Aqua Velvo. When it first came out, it was issued to the, the military, along with Barbasol, from what I've read. And the Aqua Velvo was flying off the shelves. But the Barbasol was not. The reason was because of the high alcohol content in the Barbasol, in the, in the Aqua Velva, and the guys were 
down it and getting a getting a high. So they changed the alcohol to a denatured alcohol and changed the scent so it would not taste so good. So they solved that problem real quick. Feels nice, feels nice and slick, no pulling. It's got a nice glide. Feels good. Let's see how we do. Not bad, not bad on the first pass. got a nice scent to it. I like it. I like it. I don't know whether it's the ice blue aqua velva or not. I'll try a little bit, see what happens. That was the one thing that I didn't see when uh, it was being marketed. They didn't say which aqua velva. Whether it was like an original, it was an original, I don't know, because I wasn't around then. I only remember seeing the ice blue. And you know I like menthol, so anything that's icy I like. I got up this morning, went to open the gate to take the little wife, go to her office. Went to look at my car, had a flat. <laughs> and Ford, in their infinite wisdom, on the 2014 Fusions, did not include a donut. They did include an air pump which supposedly has a canister of uh, their version of fix a fly So I'm gonna go out and take care of that when I finish this. And then go get a new tire. Not bad. Let's check the residual slickness just with a little water. Do the Gillette slide on that. Good residual. It's nice. There's enough on there. You just do a little cleanup if you have to. Let's do a second pass. As it sits on there, you can definitely get the peppermint. And there is a leather in this.
The lavender is not that strong, which I guess for when Aqua Velva came out and the, the guys in the military, they didn't want to smell like a lot of lavender. Who knows? I don't know. I wasn't there. So you may see the the logo on the on the shirt. I don't know whether some of you might recognize it or not. It's from the U.S. Soccer Federation. Let me step back a little bit. U.S. Soccer referee. I was a referee back in New York. And I refereed everything from the little guys, about <laughs> six or seven years old. Which was akin to herding cats. I did travel leagues. I did a couple of adult leagues. And I did a lot of, lot of high school. I also did something that they call futsal. It's played on kind of like a basketball court. You had four people on the four people men or women boys or girls on the field and a goalie very fast moving game it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it i loved i loved refereeing it really was a lot of fun Fortunately, unfortunately, when I got down here to Texas, I looked into it, and the pay rate was not the same. It wasn't even close. And instead of the, the schools, including the assigner's fee, a little bit of water here. They expected the referee to pay the assigner's fee. Oh, guess who wasn't paying an assigner's fee? This guy. So I hung up my cleats, hung up my uniforms, and retired from refereeing when I got down here. I did help two of my granddaughters a little bit with their skills when they played. Yeah, I used to play too. So if I ever got the call to coach, I would be more than happy to. If any of my grandsons want to play, I'll be more than happy to help them. But I think they're into t the, the two older ones are into t-ball. They had a good season this year. So we'll see. Maybe they'll get into soccer. Who knows?
Silk does have a nice slickness. It's a nice, nice, nice scent. So, uh, Brenda and I are starting to uh, plan for our anniversary trip. We're going on a a quick cruise, four days. To Bermuda. One of our favorite islands. Last time we went there, we took my mom. It was her her last trip before she passed. So we're going back, this time for ourselves, celebrating 23 years. Or being married. Married 23 years, dating for 24. Because yes, we still date. Home one rinse. Nice shave. Nice shave. Very nice. It's got a little spot right there. Much better than that same spot. There we go. All done. Let's get the Allen block. Nice, nice feel. No, no, no stingers. Hang on one second. Got a towel. Give it a shake. Here we go. This shave, I would not give a red card or a yellow card to. This was a good shave. Dry it off. Don't ingest the alum. Pro tip of the day number two. All done. Nice and dry. Look up. <clears throat> We're in. 
It was a high bank. All right, let's try some of this old timer. Splash. It's not blue like Aqua Velva. You might be able to see it. There's a little, it's, it's clear. No sting. It's got the same scent as the soap, which is nice. I don't decide what cologne I'm going to use with this. Let's open up the, the original Aqua Velva. Just a little extra, what the heck. This is so similar. I think the ice blue just has the, the menthol added to it and the blue coloring. Blue dye number 59,362. All right. Great shave. Uh, where did it go? There he is. Good shave. Old timer. If you can get it. Why not? Pick up a jar. It's good. It's a good shave. BBS. Definitely. Definitely. Gliding. Nice scent. Uh, if you remember your dad's or your granddad's using Aqua Velva, this will shake up a memory. Definitely will. Uh, Wednesday. Italian Shave Day. We're going to go into one of the other offerings, I believe. I think that's what I'm going to do. One of the other offerings from the uh, the Godfather series or Gangster series from Van Ulay. And we'll see how it goes. Shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day. You might be doing something wrong. As always, be good to yourselves and to each other. Have a great day and smooth shaves. We'll see you on Wednesday. Ciao for now.